Hello everyone, I'm Christian Veer. I'm developer advocate with Cisco DevNet and I focus on everything security. I would like to welcome you guys to this um, journey with respect to security and getting started in security can be difficult. Um, so we created this uh, Cisco Security 101 and in this actually what we are introducing in the first phase um, is Cisco Next Generation Firewall. There are two managers who are you can use to manage these firewalls. So there is a manager which comes directly on the firewall itself um, and it's called the FDM manager. And there is another manager which is uh, if you have multiple of these devices in your organization, it becomes difficult to manage each device. So we have what we call Cisco Firepower Management Center, which is another manager. Both of them uh, these managers they come with excellent APIs um, and so so the first thing in the journey which you can start is the network component and especially if you're coming from networking background uh, the concepts are quite similar uh, so you can get started really really quickly so this what we have done on over here is that we have given you introduction um, on this page to the technology which is our next uh, next generation firewall uh, manager and so what you can do here is that the best way to get started is the, the these firewalls have a, a nice documentation, open API spec based documentation, which is available. So the best way to get started is to actually uh, use the API Explorer, which is bundled with on the top of the firewall. And by this API Explorer actually um, explains all the resources, which is available. Um, it even has a, a small uh, interface where you can actually try um, uh, the API calls. So it's it's pretty good place to get started. And of course, everything uh, everything starts with authentication. And so this platform uses standard, which is OAuth based authentication. So um, and and over here, if you if you scroll down, you will find that we are covering that part as well. Um, how to get started with FTM, REST APX, or how do you get a token? And then by end of the this, um, a, 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 towards the end of your journey, you will be able to actually um, uh, create some network objects. And, and objects are very useful because you can reuse them in your rules. Um, and so, so you will be able to create that. So you, this will give you a good understanding how to uh, how to program with Cisco um, Next Generation Firewall. Um, I would like to introduce other tools which are available. Um, awesome tools. Uh, I think great place to go start is go to the Security Dev Center and first thing you can figure out is what type of APIs are available based on your use cases. And good thing about Cisco is is all our security uh, products have APIs, so they are all programmable and you can automate your workflow. Um, so as you can see, we have multiple APIs over here, so you can scroll. We have a nice uh, uh, documentation link from here directly. You can read about these APIs. We have put some um, um, use cases as well, like depending on what you are looking for, based on those use cases, you can actually um, uh, try to uh, find which fits best to your use case, the APIs. So um, this is a great place to go get started. The other tool which we have available, like especially when you're learning or you're trying trying to code with Cisco API on FMC or NGFW, we have actually sandboxes available. You can go and reserve these sandboxes. Um, so this is another great tool which is available on the platform itself. And if you want to individually go learn about um, Umbrella, there is a very nice documentation which is available for Umbrella. Umbrella is our DNS solution. Um, there is a nice API. So as you can see, there are multiple APIs available here. If you are contextualizing your threat, you can use Investigate API. If you are doing uh, figuring out what is happening in your organization, uh, because in security, there are two things very important for 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 a security team person to figure out is are they what what is this is something a threat and if it is a threat what type of threat it is or second part they want to understand is have we seen that on our network right so that's where this API comes into play what targets are there which you know most recent requests um, identity of those target right so you can figure all the speed out in the umbrella. The other important I wanted to mention is the AMP, AMP for Endpoint API. 
um, you can go look at it this is nicely documented as well so I want to introduce you guys to uh, the learning tracks so that if you if you go here we have a bunch of learning tracks you can go to the labs and you can actually sort by security if you go here you will see all the learning labs which are available on security so there is a very wide portfolio of apis which is covered over here the other part if you want like a curated form um, about all those apis which are available in security you can go over here um, and you can actually follow through like you can see that we have a nice way to get started on programming there is REST API fundamental, and then you can dwell into Cisco Umbrella, Cisco Firepower APIs, Cisco ThreadGrid APIs, the AMP APIs, the ICE APIs, and then we have put a simple workflow how to deal with zero day threats. So I would like to welcome you guys. Uh, my Twitter handle is veer at Cisco, and um, I hope uh, you guys will get started really quickly on security APIs. Feel free to reach out to me uh, with respect to any questions you have on Twitter. Thank you.